Do you have a plan to deal with the nation's mental health epidemic? And if so, what is it? Well, thankfully, we're talking more about mental health now than we used to a few years ago, but we still don't have the resource to give people the mental health support that they that they want. We certainly need um, to put more resource into acute mental health support. The lack of mental health beds, for example, is a big, big problem. But also we need to try to nip problems in the bud and give people assistance as early as possible, which is why Plaid Cymru wanted to influence Welsh Government to introduce uh, mental health hubs, for example, to really get to, the grip, to, get to grips with mental health problems as early as possible. This is one of our big health problems. Why do you think the majority of Welsh people want a union and not independence? Well, what I see has changed in recent years is a huge growth in support for independence but also people becoming indie curious, being really curious about the possibilities uh, for the future of Wales. I have no doubt in my mind that we will only be able to reach our full potential when we ho have all those levers of change in our hands and I find it exciting to bring more and more people with us on the journey. More than half of the youngest uh, uh, adults say they support independence in some polls now. We're on that journey. It's about redesigning the relationship between nations uh, within Britain and allowing us to, to build a new future together and for me it's about Wales being able to reach its potential. Considering that Wales gets more money from the UK government than it raises in taxes, how can we be expected to survive if we went independent? Well, Wales, uh, like any normal country, pays taxes itself. Uh, we want to make sure that we build our uh, economy, that we build uh, uh, our potential as a nation so that we can be absolutely um, certain of the kind of future that we can build together. Yeah, we pay into the pot and in this uh, election what we're saying is that the Treasury should pay out fairly, not just to Wales, but to all parts of the UK, based on the needs of the population. How are we going to build better health services, better education services, unless we know that the Treasury is working effectively in that way? Would you consider another coalition with Labour? In the Welsh Parliament, there has never been a single uh, party that has had an overall majority. So at a host of different levels, parties have to work together. The Conservatives and Labour work together on, on committees. There have been coalitions in the past. Recently, we've been uh, influencing uh, governments through a, a particular kind of cooperation agreement. We have to be mature in politics always. It, to me, it's about representing and serving the people who elect us here. And that means sometimes working together. Would you ever reconsider your campaign to leave the union to gain more support? I am totally convinced and always have been that Wales can only really reach its potential when we have all those levers in our hands to make decisions about our own future. It's about redesigning the relationship between countries within uh, the United Kingdom, working together as independent countries for, uh, you know, for the benefits of the people that, that we serve. I have no doubts that that is the journey that we're on as a, as a nation and you know, it's my real honour to be in a position where I'm able to bring more and more people with us on that journey. Would you ever consider a trade deal with other Celtic nations? The way um, Wales builds international links is really, really important to me. I'm an internationalist and that's what I want Wales to be able to do, to find its place in the world. And of course, some of our closest friends are our Celtic neighbours uh, and you know, forging close relationship for our mutual benefit is something that I certainly want to do in years ahead.